So I'm sure for most of you guys, if you watch YouTube regularly at all, then there's probably a good chance that you watch Twitch also. Or at least, you know, you've used Twitch to some capacity in the past. Well, I mean, with this new copyright situation that's just been sweeping the entirety of Twitch, pretty much any streamer that has ever used music in any stream ever in the history of Twitch is at risk of having their entire Twitch channel deleted. Just their entire Twitch channel, their whole career, terminated, gone forever. And the crazy thing is, like, that's not even an exaggeration at all. That's, like, the real situation here. Now, in case you're lost on this whole copyright DMCA situation that's happening on Twitch right now, basically, apparently for, like, I guess for years now, there's been this rule on Twitch that you pretty much just can't use music on streams. It's just not allowed. And like I said, apparently this has been in Twitch's terms of service for years now at this point. And I guess, like, the record labels and music companies and stuff were just letting the streamers get by with it. But all of a sudden, about a day or two ago now, the music company started just cracking down on all these streamers and issuing just hundreds, maybe even thousands of copyright strikes to all these different streamers on Twitch. Just for like playing some background music in the middle of their stream. It's wild. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Twitch's terms of service here that like I said, apparently it's been here for years and it's nothing new. But just like all of a sudden, the past couple days, these music companies have started to abuse this rule. So it's starts off here by saying, sharing music on Twitch, we ask that creators only share content for which they have the necessary rights. It is a violation of our policy to stream or upload content containing copyrighted music unless you have the appropriate rights or authority to share such music on Twitch. And then it also says in the bottom that you can't even include the music in your past broadcasts, your highlights, your clips, nothing like that. It's just not allowed on the site apparently. Unless you're like, you know, Drake streaming with God's plan in the background. Now the second second part of this rule here says, here are some examples of types of music content you may use on Twitch streams. Now the first one says, music owned by you. I don't really need to read that whole paragraph. I mean, that's pretty explanatory. If you made the song and you own it, you can use it. I, I don't really know why they had to write a whole paragraph about that one. Now the second type of music you can use on Twitch here is music licensed to you. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. The third one, Twitch Sings Performance. A vocal performance of a song as captured in Twitch Sings gameplay provided it is created in accordance with Twitch terms of service. I have no idea what that means. I don't know what Twitch Sings is. Is that like a game or something? I, I don't know. I'm kind of lost on that one, but, but you can use that if you know what that is. Now, here's the stuff that these companies have been cracking down on. This is the type of music content that you cannot use on Twitch, and that pretty much if you use this type of stuff on your Twitch stream, there's a good chance that you can get banned for it now, because like I said, they're really starting to crack down on these people. So basically, if you have a radio style music listening show, so like if you're like a, maybe a music review Twitch channel, anything like that, you know, your, your channel's done for. Sorry, there goes your whole career. There goes your source of income. This one, this seems, this is probably like the most common one. It says playing and or mixing pre-recorded music tracks, which incorporate music other than music, which is owned by you or music, which is licensed for you to share on Twitch. So that's saying like, basically you can't play music that you don't own or that's not like licensed to you. You can't just play music on Twitch now. And this is already starting to affect pretty much every streamer on Twitch that, that like has music on their stream. Which I mean, if you've ever been on Twitch, that's like almost every single streamer. Now here's probably the most popular instance of this actually affecting a big streamer so far. Now this is a streamer known as Fooslie or F Fussly something, I don't know. I, I, I can't pronounce stuff. But basically, I, I'm assuming this is a big streamer. The tweet has 13,000 likes. They're verified on Twitter. I'd never heard of them. I don't really watch Twitch that much. But they said, I've been issued two copyright strikes on my Twitch channel, both from clips over a year old in the past week, and I'm now told that if they find one more violation in my clips, my Twitch account will be permabanned. So pretty much, if Twitch goes through every single clip on your channel, and you're, like, say you've been streaming for five years on Twitch, if they find three clips that have copyrighted music in them, your channel's gone. Now, she replied under this tweet and said, have talked with multiple Twitch staff, all telling me that my best option is to delete all all of my Twitch clips ever. On top of it being nearly impossible for me to delete over 100,000 clips, the creator dashboard isn't loading any of my old clips. How am I supposed to protect myself here? I mean, it sounds like a lot of streamers here are just gonna get wrongfully banned for pretty much no reason. Streamers are gonna have to pretty much go back through all of their Twitch clips and delete every single clip that has music in it, which for most 
most streamers is probably at least like 90% of the clips because I don't think I could really name a single streamer that streams exclusively without music on Twitch. That's just really not a thing. So I mean, I guess now they're just gonna have to be streaming with Fade by Alan Walker in the background like it's a 2012 Minecraft how to get unlimited diamonds glitch YouTube video. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'm out.